friends welcome back to another interesting tutorial today we are going to learn how to create amazing digital art in photoshop so let's begin the tutorial so first click on file new take a canva then create and click place some images so this one is our first image so i am going to take this one just simply drag and drop this one and adjust this image as per your document I think this one is perfect place for my work so second I select this track first I select this one by using laser tool so simply select this track okay and drag and drop this one adjust this one place behind this train image so this one is placed perfectly and next so this one is placed perfectly and i'm going to change the color of this one so i just select barb and clipping mask and adjust this image not so much okay make this one little bit darker and do the same thing with this image first select this one because this one is look so odd so i just select this one by using laser tool This one is selected and make this one black okay do the same thing with this one select and color make solid black so this one is done and match this both layer okay control minus and second this is our ground image so i'm going to select this one by using rectangle marker tool simply select this area control or just simply place this image in your document or you in your canva so this one is placed control minus for zoom out okay and place this one behind this track select this track image go to mask layer select brush control plus and apply this areas okay so and next I'm going to add or add color of this image so select or click on adjustment layer and go to curves and make this one little bit darker okay and select this sky image and place this one behind the behind all images so simply stretch this one and place this one behind grass image so you can get the perfect background color in night version select this layer go to masking layer brush make opacity 54% is good and apply this area okay select this sky image go to filter 
select blower and gases blower then press ok and next work we are going to select our grass image and go to hue saturation clipping mask convert this one into dark blue desaturation a little bit and make this one a little bit darker do the same thing make this one a little bit darker so just click on curves and adjust this one okay so this one is done next i'm going to select our train image and i'm going to make this one more darker okay and do the same thing with this train track select this layer go to filter camera raw exposure decrease highlight increase uh, decrease white area also decrease <coughs> clarity make little bit minus then press ok do the same thing with this one select again this track go to filter camera raw make this one little bit blue ok and click on SL adjustment and decrease the yellow colors and green color then press ok next I'm going to select this train image and select filter camera raw decrease the highlight area oh, sorry make exposure light decrease highlighted area light area make this one little bit more darker then press ok select this curves and place this one or adjust the curves so this one is done and select your grass image and this time make little bit brighter not so much just simple brighter so you can get the perfect result so this one is almost done okay this one is completed next our model so this is our model so i'm going to place this one in the front of this train second work we take a lens flare image adjust this one as per your document release clipping mask go to blending mode select a screen and adjust this one okay and duplicate this one one more time and press this one place this one in this portion okay so this one is done and select mask layer go to brush and remove these lines do the same thing again just remove this lines so this one is done and next i'm going to select a blank layer going to take brush make opacity 100% and apply this hold shift key stretch this one and place in this portion again make this duplicate sorry make this one duplicate and place this one oh sorry select this and 
place this one in this portion so your train image looks real and select again a blank layer go to brush tool and make opacity 14 to 10 percent and apply black color in this area so and next I'm going to add shadow of my model so take a brush and make opacity this time 100% and apply this and again duplicate this one and apply this area take again blank layer go to brush make opacity this time 8% and do this with another leg this one is look pretty good select your boy model go to curves and make this one little bit darker clipping mask and make this one little bit darker so this one is completed and next i'm going to select marks uh, smart tool apply this area and do the same thing with this area this one is done add extra light effect on your track so select track take a blank layer right click clipping mask go to blending mode and select linear dodged and select solid color and select light orange I think this one is perfect right click blending option hold alt ok then press ok control i to inverse this one go to brush make opacity 100% make foreground color white so my friend it's look pretty good and again select your train image and select a blank layer right click create clipping mask go to blending mode and linear dodge and start selection or follow the steps so my friend all things are so my friend all things are completed and our next work we are going to adjust the color of our work so simply match the complete work into a one layer so hold shift ctrl alt plus e right click and convert to smart object go to filter select camera raw and start adjustment make this one a little bit darker increase the contrast increase highlight shadow decrease little bit increase the water part black clarity visible increase the saturation and this highlight increase light increase make darker this one little bit shadow increase increase the sharpness and the split tone adjust this one like this okay and increase this orange color and red color fx then press okay so my friend i hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel okay see you soon with new tutorial goodbye